I joined it in 1952 um, in uh, Alexander Palace when there was the first television studios that ever gave a public service in the world, uh, just immediately after the war. And television, hardly anybody knew it and had seen it. I'd never seen it when I got a job. Uh, and uh, uh, nobody else was much interested. So that in fact the BBC had to advertise to ask people if they wanted to come. Lots of books, one, uh, one by a, a, an author who very few people in this country know still called Ernest Thompson Seton, who was an American, well a Canadian, uh, and who was a, 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 a wolf trapper at one stage on the prairies of, uh, of Canada. Uh, southern Canada, and he wrote wonderful stories about wolves and coyotes and cottontail rabbits and uh, mustangs and, uh, and illustrated them beautifully. Have a go at it. Uh, the, um, in 1952, 60 years ago, uh, Television was enormous great electronic cameras that you needed to be a, a, an engineer simply to get them to work. Uh, the great thing now is that you can get home video for re quite reasonable prices and editing. And so the, the, the business of making films that tell stories and which hold viewers, you can work it out for yourself. You can do it at home and see if it works. Make a 10 minute if you want to make films about natural history programs, make one, make one about a sparrow or a starling and see whether you like the business of lying flat on your stomach for hours on end in order to get a particular shot, or indeed whether you have the, uh, the talent to tell stories in pictures. Have a go.